god, why the hell did that hurt so bad? Oh mate, I'm wearing a rusty pot helmet, what do you expect? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another solo episode. Before we start today's video, just want to thank Rusty Pop for sponsoring today's video. They are doing a $2,500 Rust skin giveaway. Um, it's a Halloween giveaway, so you'll get a chance to win some cool skins. If you want to enter that, go into the description and enter it there. It's pretty quick and easy, and you'll have a chance to win some free skins. So, thanks a lot, Rusty Pop, for sponsoring the video. Right, guys, today we are going to jump straight into some raiding. Um, I have pretty much got all the sulfur I need today. And in the last video, if you guys remember, I researched for the auto turret. So, we can go out now and do a raid and we can use the auto turret for our defense. It basically means that uh, if a clan tries to counter raid me, it'll be a lot harder because I'll have to get past my auto turret first. Um, I always like to raid with an auto turret as a solo player, especially on a high pop server like Rustified. It's very, very useful. And that is pretty much why, that is the only reason why that I haven't raided this wipe because I wanted to get the auto turret research first. And so, yeah, pretty much I I'm a wussy and that's about it. Uh, but yeah, guys, I, I did build a new base again. Just want to say that right now, but it's very close to the old base. Um, I just wanted to, move base just so that I didn't get raided overnight and uh, yeah so I'm in a new base once again but I'm very close to the old one so that's all good right anyway guys without further ado let's jump into this video hope you're all having a fab day we do have a lot of researching to do today as well because I want to research a couple of items that I still need to research like the shotgun trap um, and the explosive 5 6 ammo um, so yeah there's a few things I still need to research but we should be doing the raid first and then after that we'll do the researching that we need to do hopefully we'll get enough scrap from the raid we do that's the main thing anyway sit back relax and I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Hope you're having a great Friday. Let's do this. Two players there. He killed me. Oh my god, how's the guy? I just headshot a guy and he didn't die. Oh, one of them fell off. I think I actually killed one of them. That'll be so funny if I did. I think I did. He's going back. I'm gonna grab the L96 that I have. See if I can snipe these guys. There they are. Hello. Hit him once. One more bullet left. Let me grab more ammo. I killed them both. Oh, I killed one of them. Where's the other one? One of them's dead. That's all I know. Unless I killed both. I couldn't have killed both of them. Oh my god, let's swim over there. I think I might have sniped these guys out with my L96. That'd be so sick. There's only one way to find out, and that's to swim over there. Oh. Holy shit, there's a clan. I hope they don't see me. No, they don't see me. I just a clan just went right past me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm approaching this boat. I only killed, I only hit one of them. That's the confusing thing right now. Where the hell's the other guy? All right, we're here. Let me go ahead and heal up a little bit. All right, let's see what sort of loot. Wait, where's the guy I killed? There he is. How many is those? Two dead bodies. I killed both of them. How? They're both dead somehow. Oh, yes. Don't know how I managed to kill both of them because I only hit one. But they're both dead, so I'm not complaining. Um, that's weird. Hey, Super Squashy, and your friend is some weird name. Sorry that for killing you both. Hey, you're making a double barrel as well. Hell yes. Get in. L96 is OP, boys. I killed one of them, and the other one just died. I mean, he was probably just too scared of the L96. He just killed himself. Who knows? But anyway, let me grab your boat, boys. Is there any uh, low grade inside? Yes, there is. Perfect. All right, then. How much scrap did they have in total? Not much. Did I miss? Maybe they had some more. Let me check. Uh, nope. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. L96 is now my favorite weapon. Okay. Right. Um, I need to do a little bit of wood farming. My furnaces are on. One of them is cooking sulfur because I've, I've got a lot of sulfur. Let me count how much sulfur I've got. So I've got about 750 there. One, two, three, four five in there. So we've got about 6,000 sulfur in total. That is more than enough because I've already got 485 gunpowder. So we've got more than enough today. We've almost got enough high quality to craft. We've got enough high quality to craft the auto turret and we've already got the laptop and the CCTV camera. So we're going to be ready to craft that in no time and do the satchel raid in no time. So we're going to have to go and find a base to raid first. I'm just going to quickly go out and do a little bit of wood farming and hopefully along the way we'll find a base uh, to raid potentially today. And if anybody tries to go on a boat next to my base, you're getting snipered out, mate. And this guy here, I actually have building primps to this base, guys, because this was a noob I helped out in the last video. Hello? I want to see if he's home. I don't think he is. Why is this door open? Oh my god. I think this noob might be doing pretty well. Maybe he's learned the game. <laughs> I'm happy about that because I helped him out yesterday. Holy shit. Three geared players down there. Are they naked? They all look naked to me. No, they're geared. They're definitely not naked. I really wish you could crawl on this game sometimes. Hit guy hit one guy once. 
Almost hit that guy. One of them's got a freaking, uh... One of them's got a freaking flamethrower. Do I have any ammo? I do. I have ammo. Killed one of them. Got his flamethrower. I need to research that flamethrower. Got his double barrel as well. Thanks for the flamethrower, mate. <laughs> I need to research that. I've been trying to find that old wipe. This is not my main base, guys. My Obviously, my main base is over the other side of the map. I'm going to go there now. I just got a flamethrower. As you guys know, I moved base once again. I've moved base so many times this wipe. Because I don't want people... I don't want clans to rape me. That's why I should record ahead of the wipe. But I get too impatient. And I just want to upload the videos as fast as possible for you guys. I got a flamethrower. <laughs> That's something else we're going to have to research today. Right, I'm just going to take the boat out and do some uh, scrap farming. As I said, guys, we're going to have to do a lot of farming today. But it's fine. Let's get farming. Recycle all these components I've got. May as well while I'm in the area. There's a player. I think he's naked. I'm just going to hide here. See if I bait him in. Oh. No, 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 no. Friendly. No, 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 no. Friendly. Gotta see what you've got first, mate. I don't have nothing, bro. I'm sorry. Hello. Wait, 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 come here. Tell me something. How do I do a um, bag so I can spawn? Oh, you're new to the. How new to the game are you? Uh, for example, I buy the game like two, three years ago, but but I never actually play it, so I just ah. give it a try now. Okay. Um. Well. I bought it because it was like very cheap on Steam. Yes. I'm crafting a sleeping bag for you, so just wait a second. I built my house there, but I need like more wood to upgrade that shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you got a lot of work to do on that base, mate. It's very easy to... <laughs> I know, it's like the best I could do. Yeah, okay, so you take this. Tell me, I, try, I tried to pick up some stone, but I couldn't. Take that, and then you place it down, but you can't place it down in here, but you can place it near your base. Can't place it down in Ragtowns. And you need to upgrade your base quickly because it's very easy to destroy Twig, man. Very easy. He's got 23 high for. Don't worry, I won't take any of your loot. I won't take any of your loot. Hey, Don't hey, worry. you just... Hey, 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 you just took my loot. Put that shit there. It was a guy, he gave it. Okay, fine, like I'll it. give it you back. Fine. You just give it to you, come on. What are you going to use it for? I remember. You, you, you don't need 24 high quality. I don't high know, but he gave me. You don't need but 24 high quality. Come on, don't be like that. Fine. Come on. Okay, you can take it. If, you, if you you're going to use it, you can. See, I gave you a pi I gave you a pickaxe. That's a good trade, actually. 20 high quality for a pickaxe is re yeah. a really good trade. So, okay. okay. Yeah. This is what stone looks like. There you go. Okay, so, and those big ones. So I, so I only can farm stone on this kind of stone, yeah? Yes, but hey, come over here and you farm it quicker. Press, yeah, yeah, hit that. There we go. Okay. Okay, goodbye. It's always nice to help out a new player. There's lots of new players coming to us at the moment. Like, I'm noticing way more. Okay. Finally, I finished my farming. In total, I have 561 scrap. That's enough to craft the level 2 workbench, obviously. So we're going to get that down. And then we're going to craft the satchels, the auto turret. And we're going to go and raid a base. Finally! So much farming this wipe. I've still got more farming to do because I need to research the flamethrower and the uh, explosive 556 rifle ammo. I'll do the raid first, though. I'll spare you guys, all right? I'll, I might do the farming off camera for the uh, other stuff. 
I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do this raid as soon as possible. No more farming in this video, hopefully. Okay, put the level one workbench down first, and then craft the level two. Boom! First thing I'm gonna craft right now, CCV camera, laptop. I'm gonna craft the auto turret. Auto turret is being crafted. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab all my sulfur. One, two, three, four. Okay, crafting the gunpowder now as well. We should have enough right now to craft 10 satchels. I might I might actually craft more then and do a bigger raid because I've, I've still got some sulfur I need to smell as well, so. God, there's a player building a base right next to me. What the hell? I gotta put away these. There's a player building a base right here. What is this? There we go. Killed him. Didn't have much loot. Maybe he was a noob. I don't know. All I know is that this guy was literally... I was AFK. I was literally just AF... Oh, player. Hit him once. Killed him. Oh my god, these... What? Maybe these guys were together or something. Mate, what's going on? What's going on? You giving me some stuff? Oh my god. I got no idea what's going on right now, but these, these guys just tried to build outside my base. And they they were stacked. At least he was pretty stacked. How many beacons? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 41. Thanks for the free loot, boys. Let's see if we can grab more of this loot. Put down a shotgun trap and a flame turret just in case those guys tried to freaking kill me. That was super weird though. <laughs> I'm just grabbing a little bit more wood to craft uh, to smelt up a little bit more sulfur. And then we'll be good to go. I think we've got 41 bean cans right now. I'm just going to put a lock on this door so that these guys don't come back. There we go. I, re I, I need to research the shotgun trap and the flame turret at some point as well. Even though I'm not very good with the AK, I'm going to take the AK out with me. <laughs> I'm going to put the 10 satchels away for now. And we're going to go and look for a base to raid. All right, let's go on a bit of a scouting mission, shall we? Um, there's a base up on the hill up there. And I think the guy I killed earlier that had all that, that wood, I think he lives there. So let's go check that out. Check it out, boys. Quite a long base. It's uh, got a code lock, so it's probably not a solo player living here. Not the best base design in the world. It's pretty predictable because it just basically goes in one straight line. So that's a base we could raid. Let's have a look, though. Let's uh, see what else there is before we make our decision. I'm going to go and look for a base a little bit out of the way. I'm going to go and look for a base to raid near the gas station just over here. There's a vending machine shop right here. Oh, here's the casino. Imagine if I decide to raid this guy. He's actually got a vending machine shop now as well. Oh no, should I raid the casino? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this person. I, I wonder what he's got inside. I, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. He was quite poor when I went to his casino the other day and did some betting. Casino? Ah. Hello. Hello. Is the casino open? Is this a trap base? Oh, nice. This is a trap base, no? Okay, how you doing, man? Hey, can we bet something? Hi. Mr. Lucky Owl? Nice, Lucky Owl. Yes, you can. All right, can I bet? All I've got on me is one pumpkin. This is a sick casino. Have you just been stood here for ages waiting for people to come? <laughs> yeah, hey. uh, business has been yeah. really long. I've nice. been like six minutes on this would be nice though actually to raid a casino i don't know i might just go for it all i really want is scrap if i'm honest so and even if i don't get anything it'll be fun to raid a casino i've never i don't think i've ever raided a casino so okay i think i've made up my mind i think i'm gonna raid the casino 
Um, you know, it's getting towards the end of the wipe now, so it might seem like a dick move, but I don't think he'll really care. I mostly just want the scrap, so hopefully I'll have some scrap so I can research the flamethrower, the explosive 556 ammo, the flame turret, and the shotgun trap. That is all I need to research for the rest of this wipe, and I'll be happy. The next wipe will be absolutely amazing then, because I'll have everything. Won't need to do any farming, and we'll be golden. But yeah, I've decided, guys, let's raid the casino. 14 satchels, I'm bringing the AK with me as well, um, and I might bring the L. L96 with me as well. Screw it. Why the hell not? All we've really got to do is get to the base, start dying, place the auto turret down, then we'll be safe. Just uh, got my L96 sort of like lookout, which is nice. It's about to get to nighttime as well, so uh, that might help us out a bit. Okay, I'm going to place the auto turret down right as close as I can. Boom. Auto turret is on. Okay, nice. All right, where shall we blow through then? It is quite a weird base design. His shop's there. I might just go straight through the back right here, guys. Or I could go through here. I might just take the risk and go through the back, though. Okay, screw it. Here we go. All right, I threw all the satchels. See if we get counter raided. More left. Come on, blow up. We're in. Yes, loot. Yes, loot boxes. All right, let's see what's inside this casino. Okay, uh, not much in here. Tech trash. Some components. What else have you got? Oh, rifle body. An actual semi-automatic rifle. Revolver. Some ammo. Laptop. Okay, not, not really anything else I want from there. What else have you got? More uh, some more ammo. I got TC access? No, I'm going to have to get through the TC. But there's quite a bit of metal ore in there as well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm just going to quickly get through the, t the tool cupboard, everybody. Fire arrows. Okay, we're about to get through the TC. There we go. Right, what's he got inside the tool cupboard? That is a question. Oh, not bad, not bad. Some sulfur in there. Right, first thing I want to do, though, is... I want to go ahead and patch that up. Right, now we're safe. Right, what's he got? He's got 2,000 sulfur, 160 gunpowder, a lot of stone, and 100 scrap. Not bad, but there's also a lot of stuff I can recycle, like the rifle body, the tech trash. He's also got gears, a bunch of other components. He's got 20 metal pipes. That's a lot of scrap right there. He's got a chainsaw. He's got a couple of hazmat suits. Oh. My auto turret is attacking somebody. I'm going to go ahead and place the tool cupboard down. This guy's trying to bait my auto turret. I should craft a sheet metal door, ideally. Hurry up, tool cupboard. I've got a player outside the base. I want to destroy this wall so I can get the freaking hell out. I feel like I'm being baited. This guy's got a rifle. All right, nice. I know there's a guy with a rifle outside this base. I'm going to have to destroy the tool cupboard again because I had to place it on top of the loot. All right, there we go. I can loot it all now. Again, I had to destroy the tool cupboard again. All right, there's the scrap. Okay, we've got the rifle. Oh, we don't really need the revolver. We don't really need the cloth fever. We're just going to take the most, the most important loot. Sulfur, so we can do another raid. Metal is pretty good as well, actually. But I've already got quite a bit of metal at the base, so we'll get rid of that. I'm going to grab all the components so I can recycle it all. 20 metal pipes. Tommy gun there. SMG body. Those give loads of scrap. I'm going to wait for it to go night time. Um, I feel like I'm being camped by the guy with the rifle. He knows that someone's in here. He knows there was a raid. He, there's an auto turret outside the base, so he knows that somebody's raiding. So he's probably not going to leave for a while. So I'm just going to wait for it to get night time chill a bit and i might have to do two trips but i've got as much as i can right now uh the sulfur the guns that he had um he had 100 scrap as well and gunpowder um, and some tech trash and a bunch of components so we'll get this back to base we might do two trips but uh, yeah i'm just gonna wait a little bit get rid of my arrows actually okay it's night time everybody so i think it is about time we got the hell out of here um but there might be some guy camping outside that's the only worry there was a guy with a rifle. Just got to get this back to base and we'll be good. I was naked right there. So we made it back. First trip complete. 
And that is the most important loot. So let's get that deposited and go straight back there. We still need to go back and get our auto turret. So deposit all of this. Okay, let's go back. Grab the auto turret. Grab some more loot. There's a bunch of stone, which I might as well take. And the revolver, which I can recycle. All right, but that is about it. Chainsaw, extra hazmat suit. Grab the auto turret and get the hell out of here. Boom. Okay, home sweet home. We finished the raid. Okay, well, I would say that was a decent raid. And with all the components that I got from the guy, I reckon we'll probably get about f at least 500 scrap if we recycle it all. So that was pretty good. I'll be able to research the uh, explosive 556 ammo and also the shotgun trap, the flame turret. And there's a few other things I need to research as well. But I will do those in the next video because we've still got four satchels left. So we can still go ahead and do another raid. Just have to craft a couple more satchels. So I think we'll do one more raid for this series research the rest of the stuff that we need to research and then in the next series guys we're going to be doing a halloween series it's a halloween solo series it is the halloween rust update next i'm really excited for it there's some really really cool things coming out for it so stay tuned guys and you'll see it all on my channel over the next couple of days so thanks a lot guys next video will come out tomorrow and then i'll have the halloween episode out on sunday have an amazing weekend everybody peace out